very sensual if you're going on that kind of date where you know you're going to be in someone's face throughout the whole night i suggest you wear this this is a baby girl perfume <laughs> This is your winged lady and I'm back today with another lovely video. <laughs> hey guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're well. Wink lady is doing good. She's doing okay. And today I'm back with a review of another Latafa perfume. Yet another one, I know. Today we are reviewing Nibras by Latafa. So Nibras is part of their pride collection and Nibras comes in this lovely red box. The box is actually very beautiful. The aesthetics are aesthetic same. Oh, oh my god. It's giving what it's supposed to give is what I meant. <laughs> so you open Nibras like so. Oh my god. It's in the opposite direction. How do these things work? Ah. It was me. It was me. It's not Latapa. It's just me. So this is Nibras by Latafa. It comes with a pamphlet of uh, perfumes in Latafa Pride collection, perfumes and their notes. So if you're thinking of getting any one of the Pride collection, if you get one, you get access to all the others. At least you know the notes. So it comes in this box and you remove it like so. Now, how does Nibras smell? Um, well, let's just spray it. The thing with Nibras is that it's not a shouting perfume. It is not loud. If you're looking for that loud scent that's going to announce your presence, it's not Nibras. It's actually quite calm. Nibras is sweet right off the top. It is sweet and fruity right off the top. And the vanilla in there is vanilla. -y. It's actually very vanilla forward. Okay, so... What I get in Nibras is a, it's a complex scent. I get sweetness at the top, fruitiness, like berries, you know, fruits, like strawberry, like raspberry in the, in the initial spray. After that, I begin to get vanilla and something chocolatey. Yeah, vanilla and something chocolatey and it is quite sweet. Then after it has dried down, I get musk. So basically, what I think Nibras is, is like a, a soft feminine perfume. It is fruity sweet. It is uh, vanilla forward. It has a bit of chocolatey thing going on in the background. And it has some florals. I catch florals after the initial spray, like roses. Then I also catch the musk in there. It makes it and um, makes it a very sexy perfume. This is actually very sensual. If you're going on that kind of date where you know you're going to be in someone's face throughout the whole night, I suggest you wear this. This is a baby girl perfume. I'm not even playing. I'm highly impressed with Nebras after wearing it for a while, of course. But it is calm. Nebras is calm. It's not in your face. It's not shouting. It's not announcing your presence. It's just calm, like super calm. Very, very calm. It settles into your skin and it makes you smell delicious. So think of um, a fruity sweet perfume with a dash of chocolate or cocoa. You know, just a dash, not too much, with a good amount of vanilla because... The vanilla here, I can, it's so forward, you can you cannot miss it in Nibras, you cannot miss it. So, think of a fruity, sweet perfume with hints of vanilla and cocoa. Yeah, chocolate, with hints of vanilla and chocolate. This is the kind of scent that you wear when you want to smell edible, you want to smell sweet, but then you want to smell complex. Nibras is by no way a simple scent. It is not simple at all. And the musk that they put in there makes everything blend so well together. It is so sexy and sensual and very well-rounded. It's actually quite quality for the price. It's not very cheap. It's not a cheap perfume. 
it is it's, it's expensive you know lot of our pride collections are actually a bit more expensive than the normal lot of our peppermint but this one is actually doing what it's supposed to do and it's giving what they said it was going to give I heard someone say maybe it's lactonic. It's not lactonic to me at all. It's just floral. The floral hints don't jump right at you. They are not very forward, but they are there. As for the performance, Nibra actually performs very well. At least on skin, it does about five hours on you. Yeah, I know that's not normal, you know, eight hours, ten hours, but it does five hours on your skin. On my skin, it gives me five hours. I can still smell it after five hours. Then on clothes, it does... 8 to 10 hours. That's just how I can. 8 to 10 hours. Like I said, it's a calm scent. It's not the kind of scent that you wear to announce your presence to anyway. It's actually quite calm. So that's exactly what it does. It sits closer to your skin. But on your clothes, it will still give you 8 to 10 hours, definitely. But I don't think it's not beast mode. It's not that kind of Middle Eastern perfume that is beast mode that every single person can smell. It's not beast mode, guys. So... Uh, I wouldn't advise you to actually go for this if you're looking for something that is beast mode. It's not that beast mode. As for Siage, does it project? Still sorry, it does not really project. Because when you wear this, you don't really get that large projection, that announcing your presence kind of, you're not really getting that. It just stays closer to your skin. It is that kind of perfume that you wear to date, you know, sort of sensual night, sort of when you're going to be with your partner, you want to smell yummy, you want to smell delicious, Nibras will do it for you. You see this perfume, it's sex in a bottle. <laughs> it's sex in a bottle. It's very sensual. It is very unique. It's very sexy. It's not the kind of Perfume, I recommend you to go to O and Bay or parties or whatever. But this alone will do you good, will do you a lot of good. So, guys, if you're thinking of a perfume that you want to just you want to wear to somewhere classy, you don't want to be too much in their faces, but you still want to come up as you know classy and definitely sexy, I'd advise you go for any brass. So it does quite well in that aspect. I don't know if I've mentioned the notes. Uh, at the top, you have red berries, mandarin, orange. In the middle, you have vanilla, cacao, and rose. They all come through. You see these notes? Each and every one of them is doing what they're supposed to do, and they're actually quite blended and rounded. One thing about quality perfumes is that no matter how many notes that you have, they are going to come together to make a beautiful concoction. So the base notes, you have sugar, tonka bay, amber, and musk. I don't really catch a lot of amber, but you see the musk in there. It is not shouting to just speaking through from the layers but it is quite good it makes this perfume a sexy perfume essential perfume and i would recommend it to you <laughs> wing lady recommends this one is actually given it's given it's sweet enough it's doing what it's supposed to do it's doing what it's supposed to do if you can afford it definitely go right ahead i'm going to leave a link down in the description box and you can use that link or you can just just buy it anywhere just get yourself a bottle it's given it's quality perfume you know i won't recommend nonsense to you guys i won't recommend trash this one is actually what you money and it's pretty nice it's for baby girls and i really appreciate that thank you latafa for catering to all the baby girls like us <laughs> so that is it with um neighbors you guys get yourself a bottle and you experience the goodness that i'm talking about Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, like it, and then subscribe to my channel for more of me. And until next time, with kisses. Ciao.